Okay, uh, have the 18650 in there now, and it's at 97 grams, which is 27 grams heavier than yesterday. So I'm not really so optimistic how this is going to go, but I did at least try and fix the motor position a little bit. It's uh, slightly angled down, I think. Anyway. Oh. I don't think it's... Uh, my motor mount position is only... A, oh, yeah. It's a little bit improved, but... No, not completely. But what I have noticed is if I back off the throttle a little bit, it's better. But my most important concern, which was will it fly at all, seems to be uh, solved. This is going to be impossible to trim in flight, so I'm going to have to land it, I think, to get any trimming done. Glide. <laughs> kind of. Oh, that's not terrible. Hey, that's all right. Looks like I've got the CG slightly better now. That is a respectable glide, I think, for such a little plane. Uh, oh, look at this, and it's even able to hold altitude. It's slightly under half throttle. Hey, I'm quite happy about this. The birds seem to like it too. Look at them. <laughs> it does get a bit hard to see, and when as soon as you turn, even a little bit, it loses. Look at the birds! Whoa! Hopefully you can see them on the camera. <laughs> they love it, I think. Maybe they hate it, one or the other. It feels pretty comfortable overall. It's just the, uh, the thrust line is off. <clears throat> so let me just glide it in for a... Landing, hopefully. Trying not to roll it too far to one side because that's when you really lose a lot of lift. Ah. Oh, it is a little bit warm. What I might just do is see if I can get that motor mount to angle down even more. I've just poked a little piece of wood and behind it, hopefully you can see that, but it wasn't enough. Um, so I'm having to be very careful with my throttle position just to get it into a position where I can keep it steady. So I'll try and fix that a bit more. Okay, now I have the motor mount at an angle which seems to me maybe a little bit excessive, uh, but we'll see how it goes. It's pretty good actually. And I increased my expo as well. And it still wants to go up a little bit. Yeah. Wow, I don't know. Doesn't seem like it would be, be sensible to make the motor thrust any more downward. Still wants to go up. This is right on half throttle. Hands off. Okay, no, can't do that. <laughs> Still wants to go up. My God. Maybe it's not the motor, the motor angle. What the hell else would it be, though? Is it just trims? Uh, I'm having a real puzzle here. I have my pitch stick mostly pushed all the way forwards. See that? Maybe you can see it. Sorry, I can't look at my stick to see whether it's visible or not, because I'm looking at the plane. But I have my pitch stick mostly forwards, I think. It's flying all right, though, other than that. I mean, it's a comfortable 45% throttle again. But I think I might have to do a bit of trimming just to uh, make it a bit more comfortable to fly, considering I'm hoping to fly this for about 20 minutes or so here. Uh, so, pitch all the way forward, I guess. Okay, this is a little bit more comfortable, I think. Still needs a fair bit more expo. And a fair bit more forward pitch. 
But at least I figured that 45% throttle is a comfortable position to be flying at. Oop. Let's crank it right up to 85, 82. That's better. Yeah, you only need a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of movement on the roll, on the ailerons. I think I can actually trim it and roll here. So I think now the motor mount is facing down enough. When I started this flight just now, the voltage was 4.09 volts on the battery. So I'll just fly it until it feels like it's losing power or something. Either that or 20 minutes or so, whatever feels like 20 minutes. And then I'll stop and check the voltage. But anyway, I'll update you, whoa. I'll update you when this flight's finished. balance has been achieved. It doesn't happen very often, unfortunately it's too small. <laughs> so it's too small for me to let it get far doing that though. Well it feels like it's been about 15 minutes now. I should have bought a clock or something so I could tell exactly but we're still at 55% throttle. I mean I'm gradually having to increase the throttle slightly as it as the battery voltage decreases but I'm just saying that to give you an idea that it's not really decreasing much. Okay, it feels like it's been about 20 minutes now, maybe a little bit more. And we're at that much throttle, if you can see that. What is that? 65%? Maybe 60, 65, something like that. And as you can see, fairly comfortable most of the time while I've been flying this. I'm just sort of turning it backwards and forwards in front of me to not get too far away and I haven't actually been changing the pitch that much because when you get the throttle in that zone that it's comfortable in it just sort of keeps the altitude fairly constant. It does have a tendency to lose altitude when you turn it like to, whoops hang on let me keep it there. Uh, so as it goes out there I will turn it a little bit, oh you probably can't see it's too small, and it will lose altitude while it's turning, slightly this time, usually a little bit more than that actually, and then when I straighten it up, it sort of gains the altitude back just briefly and then it levels off. So it basically stays where it was at the beginning of the turn, altitude wise, um, which is quite nice for what I'm doing right now because, um, well I'm just trying to keep the same altitude and it helps me out so I don't have to constantly be adjusting it. But my fingers are getting a bit cold and I think we've done enough to prove that the 18650 can fly it at 97 grams at least and it's not having too much trouble with endurance and the biggest problem really to be honest is that it's so small that I have to focus intently on it when it gets over there <laughs> so that I don't lose orientation. Alright, so I think we'll call this flight to, a, to an end. Actually, let me just see what a little bit of full throttle does, altitude wise. Oh, that's full throttle, it barely changed. Oh, that's scary. Alright, so... Well, that's good to know, I don't have any leeway if I need to suddenly rescue myself from a... Uh, situation like this anyway let's finish up here this is full throttle by the way so oh and I uh, I changed my trims to be pitching it down more didn't I so I don't have mmm that's something to keep in mind good to know good to know I didn't really have any ability to 
lifted up there. Good to know all these things, isn't it? Just see if I can launch and land it a little bit more competently there, because that was quite worrying. Yeah, see? Oh shit, what have I done? <laughs> this is full throttle. I think I'll just bring it back. Yeah, so uh, starting to lose power quite significantly there. It wasn't a problem when it was up high, it was able to keep level, but for launching it, you know, to go from a low height up to a high height, uh, it doesn't really have any ability to climb at this point. So I'll check whatever voltage this is, and this is probably, probably about as far as we can push it, actually. I was just doing a little test to get an idea of what the current draw might have been during that flight. And if we set the voltage to 4 volts at half throttle, it's about 4, uh, four amps. Oh, I've forgotten already. Let me try. So it's and if I raise it above half throttle... Uh, I'm not going to take it too far because it actually goes over 5 amps fairly easily, which is all that my ESC is supposed to handle. And just before it tripped the current over current protection, which I set at 5.3 amps there, and it tripped that straight away when I went to full throttle. So. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea to do too much full throttle with this setup, but you can see that the, the current would have been about 4 amps, which is about all you can really go to with one of these. Um, I think the maximum constant current for these is 4.8 amps, according to the data sheet somewhere I saw. So, uh, um, yeah, <laughs> thought I would just add this at the end of the video for those who are curious. Anyway, thanks for watching.